Pout Pout Fish Easter Surprise by Deborah Deason. Mr. Fish was bubbling with excitement. The Easter egg hunt was today, but Mr. Fish was also worried. Every year, no matter how hard he hunted, he never came home with any eggs. He found Mr. Eight and Mrs. Squid weaving baskets for everyone in the neighborhood. That looks like fun, said Mr. Fish. Is there anything I can do to help? Thanks for offering, said the octopus, finishing up several different baskets at once. But we've got it covered. It's tricky business, Mr. Fish, said Mrs. Squid, as her tentacles twisted and tied. Why don't you spread the word that we are ready to begin, asked Mr. Eight. Mr. Fish happily darted here and there, relaying the message to his friends. As everyone gathered, Mr. Fish resolved that he wouldn't come home with an empty basket this year. Soon the hunt was underway. Mr. Fish found himself next to Miss Shimmer. How's it going? he asked his friend. No luck yet, said Miss Shimmer. Mr. Fish spotted a beautiful egg nestled in a grove of seagrass. Its decorations were dazzling. That one is perfect for you, Miss Shimmer, exclaimed Mr. Fish. Why, thank you, Mr. Fish, said Miss Shimmer. May I give you a smooch? Yes. As the hunt continued, Mr. Fish swam this way and that. Near a shipwreck, he spied an egg that seemed just right for his friend Starfish. Underneath a coral reef, he uncovered a pearly white beauty for Miss Clam. More and more eggs were discovered and the treasure hunt was winding down. And then, to his surprise, Mr. Fish discovered an egg of his very own. But then he saw the friendly little fry who hadn't found any eggs yet. I've been saving this one for you, said Mr. Fish, turning her pout into a smile. That was very kind of you, Miss Hewitt said, and everyone around agreed. Mr. Fish had a wonderful, warm feeling inside that chased away his worry. It's really nothing, he said with a smile of his own. But Pout Pout Fish's friends and neighbors didn't think it was nothing. They thought it was something, something very wonderful indeed. Before Mr. Fish could swim away home with an empty basket once again, they surprised him with a special treat they'd gathered just for him. You always help us find the perfect eggs, said Mr. Eight, and we wanted to make sure you found the perfect treasure for yourself. I don't know what to say, said Mr. Fish. There's only one thing to say, said the little fry. Happy Easter, Pout Pout Fish.